It's a topic that's more important now than it has ever been. With concerns about auto emissions contributing to global warming and gas reaching record highs, fuel economy is becoming more crucial all the time. Aside from taking advantage of Metro's expanding bus service and commute alternatives, there are ways to improve your fuel economy when you do have to drive your car that will reduce your personal carbon footprint and save you money at the pump. Melody Bennett is a project manager with King County's Fleet Division. She says the steps to improve fuel economy are simple. The main thing I would say is just think about revising the way you drive in general and drive sensibly. Don't do sudden starts, taking off really suddenly, stopping really suddenly, aggressive driving. Um, just manage your trip in a way where you go with the flow of the traffic, you observe the speed limit, and you don't have to make sudden stops or starts or sudden maneuvers. And that will smooth out your driving in such a way that you will have significant fuel savings just from that process. Aggressive driving can cost you a lot in fuel. In fact, it can cost you an extra 5% to 33% in fuel. That's about 15 cents to almost a dollar a gallon. The same applies when you're coming to a stop. When you hit the brakes at the very end, not only is it hard on your car, it's unsafe for drivers around you and it uses more fuel. Idling is another contributor to needless fuel consumption. Sitting in a stationary running car for 10 minutes burns the same amount of fuel as does driving a mile, except you aren't going anywhere. Everyone who drives knows that roads and highways in urban areas of the county can become very congested. Avoiding these areas during peak driving periods and planning your trip ahead of time will ensure you don't sit idling in heavy traffic or waste fuel by making extra stops along the way. Plan your trips wisely, both in terms of where you're going to stop if you have errands to run, and you have to go to this place and that place. Plan everything so you do one circuit instead of having to go out and get something, maybe go back home, go out later, get something, go back to the office, whatever. When your car has to reheat up, when the engine has to get reheated each time, you're using more petrol, more gasoline to heat it up. So you save energy, you save fuel by not going, you know, back and forth all the time. Simple to doing trip planning, watching for areas that you know are congested all the time and planning to avoid those places or planning the shortest route to your destination. All of these things will cut down on the amount of miles you travel and by extension, the amount of gas you use. The National Safety Council estimates that idling and stop-and-go traffic cost drivers more than 753 million gallons of fuel a year. That's about $1,200 we could all be saving by making sure we turn the car off when we're not moving. But it's not just our behavior out on the roadway. It's also making sure the car we're driving is properly maintained and in optimal condition to deliver good fuel economy. Bob Toppin is the Fleet Division's equipment supervisor. He says good fuel economy can be the result of simple vehicle maintenance. For instance, making sure you don't have a clogged air filter. Well, it, it restricts the airflow into your engine and basically the motor's uh, nothing more than an air pump and the, the more air you can get into it, and the more air you get out of it, the more efficient it operates. And making sure you have the right oil viscosity for your engine. Well, with today's uh, vehicles, um, the engineers are engineering these vehicles to run with a, um, lighter and lighter weight oils. And uh, if you use too heavy of an oil, it creates more friction, internal drag in your engine. Uh, causing uh, the engine to require more fuel to operate efficiently. So the lighter oil that you can use, the better fuel economy you're going to get. Paying attention to the kind of gas mileage you're getting from tank to tank can also help diagnose bigger problems with your vehicle. Decreased mileage may mean you'll need to consult your mechanic about what's going on. Newer vehicles um, monitor all the, the systems of the engine. The O2 sensor actually measures your exhaust and a faulty O2 sensor, it can cause up to a 40% decrease in your fuel economy. So it's very important to keep your engine tuned up. As far as changing spark plugs and whatnot, um, today's engines are so efficient that generally uh, you don't need to change your spark plugs you know, until after 100,000 miles or so. Um, but the, uh, anytime your check engine light comes on, that means that there's a problem with your emission system and any of those 
can make a noticeable uh, decrease in your fuel economy. So it's important to keep things you know, running properly to get the best fuel economy. The final tip to remember is paying attention to your tires. Improper inflation creates extra work for your engine by causing additional drag, which in turn will burn more gas. Checking the pressure once a month will help to ensure proper inflation, not to mention a safer ride for you and drivers around you. Uh, if you're unsure what the tire pressure is, if you look at the sidewall on the tire, every tire made today has the recommended inflation pressure on it. And you want to run it at the maximum. That is a cold pressure rating. Uh, don't check them when they're hot. You check them when they're cold. And as the tire heats up, it will even um, increase the pressure inside of it. But the ratings are all cold ratings. So do your tire pressure checking when the tires are cold before you drive. Alignment is another critical issue in your front end to make sure that your tires are aligned properly and aren't causing excessive drag all of which will decrease your fuel economy. A, a good tire, a new tire, will lose approximately one pound of pressure per month just because the air will permeate through the sidewall of the tire. So it's a good idea to check your tires monthly and make sure that they are at the maximum rated pressure. Another advantage of running the tire pressure at the maximum is that your vehicle will handle a lot better, which will give you a safer driving vehicle. Better fuel economy is everyone's responsibility. It will save you money and cut down on the greenhouse gas our vehicles emit. For more information on what you can do, visit the King County website on your screen.